Hello friends, today we will be discussing one question uh, from potentiometer. This question was asked in 2010 in October and November. Uh, this question is not that much a uh, difficult one. Now let us understand this question step by step uh, slowly. Uh, there is a uh, one battery with a uh, EMF 4 volt. If you see this picture, there is 4 volt is written and uh, question is clearly saying that this battery has negligible resistance and it is connected with P and Q. Q is a resistor with a fixed value of 10 ohm resistance and P is a potentiometer. There is one slider in uh, uh, P. If we slide that uh, from X to Y, the value of resistance of P changes and the whole combination is connected with a voltmeter in parallel with p and q the voltmeter is a device with a very high resistance this is the necessary condition for the uh, voltmeter because of high resistance of voltmeter voltmeter is always connected in parallel uh, then our task is to find how the value of b in voltmeter changes on sliding the slider from x to y clearly uh, we know that uh, the the um, the total circuit contains three resistors p q and voltage of uh, p q and resistance of voltmeter now using the principle of potential divider we know that if r b be the resistance of voltmeter and e be the emf of battery that is 4 volt then then in order to find the voltage across p we will be using this formula uh, P is the resistance of P divided by total resistance of the circuit. There are three resistors P, Q and resistance of voltmeter into EMF. If we need to find the voltage of Q, again we will be using this formula. Voltage across Q is equal to resistance of Q divided by resistance of P, resistance of Q plus resistance of B. Uh, the sum of these three resistance into EMF of uh, battery. And if we have to find the voltage across B, we will be using the uh, uh, this formula Rb divided by P plus Q plus Rb into E. Now we need to find the third one, voltage across uh, the voltmeter. Now uh, we know that the resistance P and Q e are negligible as compared to Rb because Rb is very high resistance, Q is the fixed value 10 and P can go up to 10 ohm. It is always uh, less than 10. It can be 10, but it can be less than 10 on sliding from X to Y. Value of P changes from 0 to 10 ohm. So uh, RV is so so large because of that value of P and Q can be neglected. So resistance total can be RV. If in this uh, third uh, one, if RV is already in numerator, uh, if P and Q are uh, all, all, always P, if P and Q are also negligible then denominator will be also RV and voltage across uh, the voltmeter is equal to E because RV and RV gets cancelled so voltage across B will be uh, E that means that whatever be the value of P whatever be the value of P voltmeter always shows the same reading because P, uh, P and Q are so so less it can be neglected because of that our answer choice a is the right answer because this diagram shows that uh, voltage is remaining uh, same if on changing x and y voltage uh, this diagram is saying that voltage is constant uh,